name is Randy Mack here at uh, Newmark Elysius Akai booth. Uh, noisy now, uh, noisy yeah, very mess noisy. Up. Yeah, very um, noisy. So uh, you've got some updates to show us, right? Yeah, uh, for Advance, uh, this is quite a major update. It's 2.0. So Advance has been really, really successful. Um, we've actually got the Advance rig. It's, it's now on Rihanna's World Tour uh, with Monty in the ball. He's been using it to trigger like Spitfire audio, contact, all these kind of instruments. So that's really, really exciting for us. Um, but 2.0, one of the main things people wanted was the integration with effects. So, you know, Advance gave you the ability to layer um, up to eight instances of different VSTs on one instance of the plugin. Yeah. And now you can layer up to four effects plugins on each instance. So uh, quite mad. 12 plugins in total if yeah. you felt kind the need. Thing. Right. So if you look here, um, basically when you, know, when you select a sound, I'm in hybrid at the moment, you can just select a sound, and then what you'll see, it separates into four individual sections. Now these are your four bus routes for the effects. So if I now hit number one, I now can go into my effects parameters and I can see, you know, this one's got air effects on, but if I've got fab filter, soft tube, etc., etc., I'll see those all come up in my library. You could create quite a complex channel, channel yeah, plugins. And, and then and I can change. save that stack of effects as a preset and then and load it up any time I want. So not only you've got the ability to create up to eight layers of textures on sounds, but now you can embed effects and save effects patches out. So, and very so, powerful. And, and so do those load on demand? So if you're using a new instance, you go, right, here's my recall, because yeah. you don't want them all loaded up yeah, the whole that's time. Right. Right? You can, like, when you look at the effects section here, we go to the mixer, you can see now I've got my four bus route on the effects channels. Let's say we wanted the delay. Um, now I've got the presets to the delay. You drag them down to the group and you'll see the effects here you can then go into the plugin as well as almost and again you'll see this on every manufacturer that you're working with so you could set up if you want to do compression limiter on the masters you want to do delays reverbs flanging and then start using those effects when you're layering your sounds split keyboard um, so you could do some really interesting things with Advance, and you do it all directly from the hardware. And is, well. that, is it a quick load time if you've got a complex setup and you're doing another yeah, one? Yeah, the, you know, when you're dealing with some of the really big libraries... Samples, I guess, yeah, are going to be Once it's slow. cached it, it will load fairly instantly, right? Oh, so you can cache it, yeah, right? Yeah, you okay. can cache it, and you can set the cache size as well. Um, the smaller stuff like Silent, Massive, Spire, Hybrid, that stuff's instantly. You know, look, I can just, once I'm in my plugins, and I go back to, it goes red. You know, I'm, um, oh, here we go. I can just literally load up, bang, like that, just. Yeah, that's fast, right, yeah. so fast. And again, if you're on tour, and you're layering up these string patches and stuff, and then you've got effects on it, all of this is also in your, in your set list. So when you go to your set list here, you can now set up your different pads, and you can load up all your own set lists or your go-to sounds instantly, and then you do that. You can do the same for the effects. So you can set up these multi stacks of on the effects bank. So if I go to here, we go to our effects rack, and you can actually make all your own presets. Of all right, so you can load up. Yeah, yeah, really, really cool. And I guess when you combine this with uh, you know laptop for, for production yeah. rehearsals or whatever. Yeah. And you get all the tweaking and the tinkering, and then you yeah, know that's it's right. just and about performance. But right? also remember, when you when you load an effects up, so if I'm on here, just loading up a sound now. Go to Velvet. So this is loading up like a four gig oh, piano. Right, yeah. okay. So well, if that was cached, that would be much be faster. Instantly. Right. So if I now go to my multi, i have now flipped to my first effects. It comes up instantly. And now I could go to maybe multi-delay. Now, as soon as I select multi-delay, I then pick the effects I want. So say swelling delay. So now that's loaded on there. Yeah, okay. Done. Right. We could then go to another effect. Go up here. Effects oh, another two. bus, right. Okay. Uh, go down and put another delay on. Uh, Why ever not? There we go, two delays. Um, but what's great is that I go to controls and now I've got controls over the effects. So if you were doing some real-time tweaking yeah. or whatever. And then you can jump back. So we can jump back between 
the effects parameters. So again, if I'm on number one, I can go to the effects control across four banks, or I go back to the plugin, and I've got the plugin controls for the instrument right. as well. So it's really, really hands-on, really, really easy to use. So, I mean, it sounds like it's much more geared towards live performance is, is actually where it's really kind of well, shining, say, shall well, we Well, yeah, say. i say uh, definitely live performance. Sound designers are using it as well, massively. Studio guys that just want more inspiration, that want to have more access to preset sounds and create their own. So it's very versatile. I guess the thing is, it's almost worth dedicating a machine yeah. to being like a massive, great instrument, yeah. isn't it? Well, remember, I can integrate this seamlessly with MPC as well. So when I've got MPC up, I can load up a VIP instance inside the MPC environment, and now I've got access to all of these inside that sequencer as well. So works very tough. And we're, you know, you'll see some videos coming from us very shortly with the whole integration level with MPC in advance. So um, this uh, software, uh, this effects stacking, is this available now? Is it yes. Yeah, 2.0. It's a free upgrade to all existing users and it came out about two weeks ago. So I think most people have been prompted to download. So yeah, it's live. <laughs> Thank you very much, Andy. Cool, no problem.